Okay. All right. So this is your, uh, so how, how, how you doing? I'm doing good, man. Good. Waves in town, and uh, I think country's going to be coming up. There's no wind, so it's going to be sick. Perfect. That's what you want, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, this is our humble abode. Let me see if I can switch around. Oh, right on. You can see. So I'll take you to the front. So we've got it's all shipping containers. So we're we're up we're up up the stairs, and yeah, you walk into the factory. We've got we've got oh, a that tattoo deck. We got a tattoo studio in here that we our, our our surfboard artist is a tattoo artist too. So we got a little tattoo studio in here, and this is like a board board design room where we can sit with customers and you know talk boards. And then we've got the main factory over here, and we've got um, we got the shop in here. Wow. This is this is two 20 foot containers that we just cut out the middle and um, yeah, put a window in this one. Little sh little till area and uh, loads of thunderbolts as we like. <laughs> wow, that is pretty mean. Yeah, so and yeah, we obviously we make everything here from kids boards and soft boards and mid lengths and twenties and everything you know uh, so then we, we come into this is the working part of the factory um we have in in here we have um we have the spray room so you can see a little bit messy but always is 20 in the corner and yeah we've got this paint system so we can offer ten thousand colors basically any color you can think of we can create here with this this system we got scales in the corner um, and we have color charts on the wall up here so you can pick any colors you want literally there's thousands of them wow and they, they have a code on the back and we put the code into the computer and the computer gives us the exact quantity and the exact color of each tap so we don't waste as much paint and we can color match. So if people have problems like with their boards being dinged, we can spray them back into the color, the exact color they had before. So yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, man, you yeah. guys are pretty sophisticated. Yeah, we've got, we've got sanding room, um, blue and dusty. <laughs> and then we've, we've got some storage in there. We've got some demo boards and some thunderbolts in the boxes still. Um, and then we've got some more. We have another like storeroom in here where we have some board bags and some some boards that are ready to go for spray. So they're we we you know they're boards that we sell quite a lot of, and we make them to a point where they're ready for spray, so people can come in and order and have their custom board in three days. Wow! So rather than waiting, you know, um, five weeks, six weeks, the board's pretty much there, ready to go. It just needs their name and their color put on it. And then we finish it with resin and sand it and it's out the door. So Jeez, yeah, right. something, something new we've been, been playing with. And then in, in here we have like kind of the, the main holding part of the factory. And you see at the minute, we've got loads of boards to start. We've got like, I think 18 to start laminating, but we've just, we've been on lockdown. So nothing's been happening. In the, this is the, the laminating room. So this is two 20 foot containers together. Just just taken, middle taken out. Um, this is like fully 150 mil Celotex around the whole factory. Uh, in this room especially is always warm. So warm in here. We have to keep it warm for the, for the resin and make sure the boards are going through at the right temperatures and stuff. So yeah. It's quite controlled in here, which is good. And then um, in here, I have my shaping room. So this is my little shaping bay. Wow. Um, and this is, yeah, this is the new model that's coming out. You'll be seeing hopefully pretty soon, David, the, the cherry picker. Oh man, um, look at that tail. That's pretty sick. Yeah, it's nuts. 
Wow. Crazy looking board. This is what I was riding in all the events, like the tradition, you know, like Nusa and Taiwan. When they switched the criteria around, you know, I designed this board basically to, to go and compete in, in that, you know, that level and that style of surfing, you know? Yeah. So, so pretty excited. So the people that don't know about the contest and stuff like that, what's changed? Uh, what is the criteria now? Well, basically it's gone very much traditional, more so than, than, it, than it has done in like 20 years. So, you know, when I started competing on a longboard when I was like 15, in the world events, it was, you know, Joel was still competing and it was starting to switch very much towards performance longboarding. Colin McPhillips, Bo Young and people like that were, and Bongo were just shredding on the tail of longboards and, but nose riding too. And that was how I always kind of saw longboarding for me at the time was, you know, that's how I wanted to surf. I wanted to surf like Bongo and, and, um, you know, he was a huge inspiration to me as, as a surfer. So, yeah, I mean, that's how it was. And it has been like that for, for 20 years. And, and the last sort of five years, things have, you know, they've been wanting to shake it up. And, and you know what? I, I, I'm loving it. I mean, it's, it's, we can still, I still ride all my high performance boards every day. I love riding high performance longboards. And, I, and I, you know, I love riding twin fins and I like riding traditional logs and everything. Like it's, I think, you know, that's just part of, the fun of being a surfer is having yeah. the versatility of being able to ride what you want, you know? So as a shaper, that's what, that's why I started shaping was because I just, I was so interested and intrigued in, you know, what different boards can, you know, the different feelings I get from each board. And I wanted to be able to create new, new designs and that's really why I'm here doing it. You know, it's the passion to go surfing and surf a certain way. So it's, I saw this as a challenge, you know, when they changed the WSL criteria, I thought, well, you know, yes, the world will look at me as a performance longboarder, but I've long, I've done traditional longboarding my whole life. I've been making traditional boards for ten years. Like I just choose to compete in a WSL on high performance longboard, and so I found it really exciting that it was kind of like give, giving me a chance to show the other side of my of my surfing and my designing and shape and you know and shaping. So. Yeah, it's it's. I found it exciting, and I, and I'm loving it. And you know, I've created this board, the cherry picker, and it's it's just given me a new lease of life for small waves. And yeah, it feels great. Yeah, so it's more of drawn out lines and 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 uh, uh, like cross step into the nose and that real smooth kind of riding. Is that what they're looking exactly. for? Exactly. Yeah, aiming at the lift, or just wanting to feel the lift in the nose. So I want to stand on the nose and feel the board lifting through sections and actually, you know, with speed, still nose riding with some, with speed, but gaining lift while we're doing it. And this, yeah. there's a real difference, you know, when you see like nose riding on a high pro board, like as much as we can hang 10 on them, you, you're in the water. Like your, your feet are pretty much, your toes are touching the water and there's always water spraying up in front. And you, you don't, you don't get the same lift and levitation as you do on, on a specifically d designed board for nose riding. So, yeah. um, so that was something that, you know, I really, you really feel the difference when you stand on these boards that, you know, that all the design is in the tail to, to lift the notes. And it's all about the tail. It's all about the tail. Wow. So and the board, um, so um, to get into the Thunderbolt stuff, how did you get into Thunderbolt? Well, really, from from high performance longboarding, watching you know Harley's, who obviously a great friend of mine, um, and that was you know my world's been wrapped up in that for so long, and wanting to create the lightest high performance longboard we could to feel like we could do anything on it, and um, you know d designs you can take as far as you want, but construction there's there's a limit, you know there's there becomes a point where how do you make this better? And Thunderbolt found that, you know, for me. And that's, I saw Harley, Harley surfing them. I've seen his surfing change. I saw just how happy he was with what he was riding and stoked he was. And he's like, Look, have a go. I had a feel of one of his boards and, you know, it felt great. And I, I thought, right, I really want to, I'd been, I'd been, I'd met you, San, and we'd been chatting for, at the event for quite a few years. And, um, I always wanted to do it, but I didn't have the money. I didn't, I didn't, you know, really at that point to get involved with Thunderbolt was pretty difficult. 
it was you know it was hard to hard to do it because it's financially it's you've got to commit to to putting down the molds and then you've got to commit to containers there was no distribution for firewire or anything like that so you had to commit yourself if you wanted to make molds we had to commit to to doing it and i was committed so i found an investor and i found the money and i went to china and i built the molds with yusan and we started working together and you know became really good friends very quickly and and um you know the rest is kind of history really yeah. but pretty stoked to be a part of you know it'd been going a long time harley and cj and yusan have put in a lot of work before and mark nelson so i was really lucky i came in at the time where you know things were were just were just starting to get recognized and yeah. mark nelson was driving it forwards and yusan's just you know he's a genius so working the team we had was just amazing and yeah to, to so, feel like part sorry of to interrupt you but the people that are listening they don't know who yusan is so yusan is the person that is pretty much behind Thunderbolt and he's the guy that has all the, te- the, the knowledge for the technology. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Yusan, Yusan is, you know, is Thunderbolt technology. So yeah. All, everything has come, come from him. And it's really interesting, you know, when you start speaking with Yusan, just the reasons behind why he started making Thunderbolt boards, you know, and he just genuinely wants to make the best feeling boards in the world. And a lot of people think that Thunderbolt is just another like, surf tech kind of knockoff that you're trying to make this board that's really strong and light but it's not it's the complete opposite you know we don't care if they break like that it's not the reason we're making them we're making them to feel the best possible feeling under our feet and it's about flex and feel and so that's really important that you know to stress that because yes the boards are tough and they are light you know but that's not the reasoning behind it that's not why they came about. Yep. That's, that's Thanks for putting that in there. And then uh, Mark is the person that's kind of, um, he, he's kind of driving the, uh, the Thunderbolt uh, company. Um, and uh, then probably about a year ago, they teamed up with uh, Firewire and Firewire is probably um, somebody that is able to distribute the, co- the boards into a more, more, more um, retailers now. So that's why more people know about it now. Huh? Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, you know, there's only so much a little team like we had could do. I mean, Mark Mark is just such a such a top genuine bloke, and he said to me, "Look, you know, we need to find the best distributor in the world. That's that's the only way we take this further." And he's like, "There's only one company in my mind, you know." And and Firewire was spoken about, and we were like, "Wow, really?" Like, you know, and sure enough you know pretty much a year later the discussions were going on and you know it's it's been amazing been amazing that that, you know it's just you know what david it's just it's the people involved you know it's not just the boards there's the people involved are really special in, in in every sort of aspect of the business and the company and and the team and everything so even down to the factory workers in china that you know after going to the factory and spending a lot of time there you know, they're, they're really special people, you know. So, um, it's cool. Yeah, I mean, I started working with you guys a couple of years ago, and you guys came down about two, maybe three years ago. And, uh, I think it was two years ago, I, yeah. Yeah, three, how many years ago? It was three years, yeah? Yeah, two, I think. Two oh, years two, ago. is it two? Okay, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I was stoked when I started, when I met all you guys. And, uh, man, everybody breathes, li- they live, breathe, eat surf man and they're when i was listening to you guys like you cj and harley all talk and stuff i was like man they're really into this stuff and they 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 feed off of each other and and it's really cool that you guys work with each other that way and it it helps each other out for sure to to go to the next level i mean funnily enough you know when when we were there on that trip cj was riding the the, one of the the third peacemaker i made for him to, to, to to try you know and um he really, we worked on that together and, and he helped me a lot. And, you know, he's got so many models and so many things going on. He's just like, look, just you've done the work here. You know, yeah, I've written it, tested it, but just go for it. Just just release it and I'm behind it. I love it. In fact, he's asked me to make a 10 foot one for him. So. Oh, right yeah. on. I love it. <laughs> so, you know, it's, we're, we're, he's, he's a great guy and you know, same with Harley, you know, the knowledge he has is, is phenomenal as well on, on every aspect, especially the construction and the way the boards are built. 
he's really like got it dialed. He knows absolutely everything about it. Um, so between between us all, it's a it's a real it's an in, we have in, interesting evenings. Yeah, sure. no, I'm stoked. Because there's so many shapers that are just like it, it's just about them, you know. But you guys collaborate with each other. That's really cool. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm doing some stuff with Kai at the moment too. Um, Kai actually bought one of my boards in Taiwan from me um, that he tried and really liked, and so and I was I'm you know stoked to be working with people like Kai and people that have been I've looked up to my whole life, you know. Yeah. So it's it's a really great experience to be honest at the moment, David, and I'm just gonna keep <laughs> keep going <laughs> and you know take every opportunity. Yeah. So um, on the next segment, I want to go into your boards. So I'm going to stop this here. Um, I I'm on the free plan, so I only got 45 minutes. <laughs> she got her. Oh, no. I'm going to stop this, and then we'll yeah. go into the different um, models that you have. Okay. Okay, I'll no call worries. you back, man. All right. Thank okay, you. <laughs>